Next video in printers is going to be about how to add a printer that's on our servers, as well as we'll go over a couple of techniques that you need to know about uh, making like a default printer. And let me show you how to do that. So what the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your, um, I call it glowing ball on the bottom left, but it's a start menu. And in the start menu, you will see devices and printers. And on the top here, you see Add Printer. You're going to go to the second arrow down here, Add a Network Printer. And usually it doesn't show anything here that even relates to uh, Hunt Valley, so you want to go to the printer was I uh, was not listed. And this is what you're going to type into the server name. Okay. Right underneath this is an example, so you can kind of remember. Once you do this once, it usually pops up. But the first thing you do is those two colons. Okay, and I've already typed this in before, so that's why it's coming up. So it's going to be, uh, excuse me, not calls, but backslashes. It's going to be backslash, backslash, H U N T V L L Y E S 03. Okay, and as soon as you put another backslash, all the printers that we have in Hunt Valley that are on the server come up. Okay. So I need to add on this one, I don't have the 330 Rico. So I'm going to click on 330 Rico. I'm going to say next. It starts looking for the driver, and then it'll start downloading it automatically. Then it's going to ask you, do you want to make this as your default? I'm not going to use this all the time, so I'm not going to make it my default, and I don't need to print a test page. So I'm just going to hit finish. As soon as I finished, I will see on the bottom here, um, that the RICO has been added at the end of my list. Now one thing I want to show you while we're in here, okay, it's important to understand, you see this little green arrow? That means this is my default printer, Espus printer. I decided that this was going to be my default printer. But what if, uh, say I was in another room, I got moved, or I just didn't want to always print to this printer, and maybe my color printer I'm using all the time. If I just right click on any of these printers, I can say set as default. The green arrow will change over, and now that's my default printer. It always comes up, and I'll have to search for it, and I'll be good to go. I'm going to change that back because I always use this one anyways. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you about that. Uh, pretty simple task, and hope that works for you.